Howdy folks, how are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and today I will be showing you how to install and set up the Pure BD Craft, or Sfax as some of you may remember it being known back in the day, uh, resource pack for Stoneblock 3. This guide is going to work regardless of what operating system you're on, so I am currently on Pop OS, which is a Linux distro, but it will work just fine on Windows as well as Mac, and it'll work regardless of whether or not you're using the official FTB launcher, something like MultiMC, PolyMC, Prism, any launcher at all, because we're not even going to touch the launcher. We're going to do pretty much everything we need to do in the game and in our browser of choice. Speaking of, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be using Firefox, but any browser should work. You should consider Firefox, though, because Google has a monopoly on the internet that needs to be broken. The first link in the description of this video will take you to the Pure BD Craft based texture pack. This is where we need to start. So the link should take you right to this page where it'll already have the Java version selected and have 1.18 selected and have 128x selected. That's what I'm going to be installing today. If it doesn't automatically have those things selected, make sure you select MC 1.18, and then make sure you select the appropriate resolution that you want to use. Now, if you're not sure what resolution to use, we're going to take a brief pause here. We're going to go over to the patch, and this is what's going to have all of the actual textures for the mods in the game. This is going to be your base Minecraft textures. This will be all of the mods and, and modded textures. And if you're not sure which version to install, there's actually under how to install a really helpful RAM allocation guide that should help you figure it out. So if you have six to eight gigabytes of memory, you might want to stick with the 32X version, 64X if you have eight to 10, and then if you want to do 128X, this actually says it usually requires Optifine, and then they recommend at least 14 to 16 gigabytes. Now, my version of Stoneblock 3, I do have 16 gigabytes of RAM allocated to it. I do not have Optifine installed though. I normally don't use Optifine, I find it to be a bit annoying more often than not. So I haven't had any problems running this, but it's just something to keep in mind. So I recommend starting with 128 and then giving it as much RAM as you can without using all of the RAM in your system. And then just seeing if it runs well, if you can kind of get by with it, if not lower it down to the 64 and then the 32. But we're going to actually start with the 128. So what you're going to want to do on this page, so this is the first link in the description. I have already accepted the terms and conditions. If you've not done this before, I've downloaded packs from them in the past, but if you have not, it's going to ask you to accept terms and conditions when you hit download this. And the very first question you're gonna be presented with is whether or not you wanna become a supporter, which you can do if you wanna support them, or you can download with ad. Now, I always use an ad block when I am recording videos because I have no idea what kind of nonsense is gonna fly up on the screen and I wanna to try to have some control over that. But if you're not, you're usually gonna see a big ad down here. Now, BD Craft is actually pretty good about having ads that are not horrible, but it's always possible. Something might slip through. I don't know who their ad provider is. You might see an ad that has a big green download button or something like that. Completely ignore that. When your countdown is done, right up here, you're going to see the download button. Click this and only this download button. This is going to begin the download. And if you're using something like Chrome or Edge or any Chromium browser, your download will be down here. Whereas I believe on Safari and then also on Firefox, it'll begin up here. We're going to ignore that for now, though, and then come over here. And this is uh, Nova Manga, who has created this wonderful sort of pack with all of the different modded textures in it. So big shout out and thank you to them. You're going to go down here to Stoneblock 3, click Show, and then pick the correct version. So if you're running the latest version, you're going to do 1.3. This is the latest version of the mod pack, I should say. And then make sure that you select the correct resolution uh, you want to get the one that matched the one that you downloaded from the BDCraft website. So in this case, we got the 128, so we're going to go with 128. Otherwise, you'll want to go 64 or 32. So I'm going to click download, and this will take us to a Mediafire page where, again, this might be blanketed in ads when you do it. Make sure that you download using this button only. No other download links. So click right there, and that'll begin downloading. Now, if you don't know where these files are going, by default, they will go into your downloads folder. I, maybe your computer's not set up like that. If that's the case, there will always be a way to get to the folder that has these in them. Usually it's gonna be a little folder icon like this that you can click and it'll open up your downloads folder. So we'll give that a try right now. I'll click here and sure enough, there's my downloads. So we can go ahead and close our browser. We no longer need that running in the background. 
and we're going to move this just kind of over to the side. There is our stone block three BD craft. So that's our patch that has all the modded textures and then the base Minecraft textures in the pure BD craft pack. So we're going to leave those where they are. And now you do not need to know where to go in your system. You do not need to interact with anything within your launcher. All you got to do is go to options, resource packs, and then open pack folder. And this is where you're going to want to move those. So I'm going to shrink Minecraft out of the way here. We've got our downloads and then we've got our resource packs folder. So we're going to take those two files that we just downloaded and I'm going to move both of those, just drag them across here into the resource packs. And we're done inside of our file manager. We can close both of those, go back to Minecraft and there they are. Sometimes they won't auto populate and all you have to do is hit done and wait a few seconds because sometimes it takes a few seconds for the page to load back. And by sometimes a few seconds, I mean sometimes a few minutes. And then you're gonna to wanna to go back in and they should be there. Now we need to add these. I've had varying issues depending on what order these are added in. But the one that I found works the most is that we add the pure BD craft and then above that, the stone block patch. That's the way you normally wanna do it when you're dealing with two different texture packs is you wanna put the one with the fewer more specialized textures. So in this case, all of the mod textures in on the top and then any textures that are missing, it'll grab from the following pack, and the following pack and the following pack all the way down to the actual base Minecraft textures. If you find that textures are missing or they appear as a weird sort of purple and black pattern, you can swap these two around by using these arrows. So just move this one up and see if that fixes it for you. But with this latest version, I've not had that problem. So we're gonna leave that down there and then have this one on top and then we're gonna click done. And at this point, I recommend being very patient because this can take a really long time, even if you have a really powerful computer. I have a decently powerful computer. It's a little outdated at this point, uh, last gen GPU and CPU, but still pretty powerful in the grand scheme of things. And it's gonna take me a while. So don't think that it's broken or frozen. Go for a walk, play with the dog, take up a new hobby, I don't know, just get, be patient and give it time. Woof, there we go at long last. So now we can click done and we can go into our world. So in this case, let's hop into my let's play world. And what we should see is a world full of beautiful BD craft textures. And there we are. We're loaded in and yep, everything has its texture applied and it's looking really good. So next I wanna show you really briefly before we go how to increase the memory in your instance of Minecraft, just in case you don't know how to do it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it first using the actual FTB launcher, and then I'll show you how to do it on Prism, which should be the same on MultiMC, PolyMC, etc. So like I said, we're gonna start in the FTB app. First, make sure that Stoneblock or really any instance of Minecraft is not currently running. Make sure you have it closed, then go to your library, and do not click on the play button, but click on the actual thumbnail image of your pack instead. That'll take you in here where you can go to settings over here on the right side, and then you can start adjusting your memory. Now, where you set it to is going to depend on how much memory you have, as well as which version of the resource pack, which resolution you are trying to run, but never set it all the way, even though that doesn't necessarily dedicate that much memory to Minecraft, it will try to use that much if it thinks that it needs to, and that's gonna give you some system performance issues and will actually more than likely degrade your overall Minecraft performance. Set it somewhere reasonable. And once you've kind of dialed in where you want it and you release, it'll automatically save it. As you can see down here, you can go back to instance and click play. Meanwhile, on Prism, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to your stone block instance, right click and then click on edit. From here, you're going to want to go to your settings and then click the memory setting here and make your adjustments to the maximum memory allocation. I would not recommend changing the minimum memory allocation unless you know what you're doing. Change your maximum to whatever you think you need to. Again, the recommendations on the actual download page for the Stoneblock BD Craft patch, probably stick with those. And then when you're done, it should automatically save them. And then you can click launch. Again, make sure that the game's not running when you make these changes. Uh, close the game, make these changes, click launch, test it, see how it runs, make adjustments as you see fit. The last thing I will note, and this applies to either the Prism launcher uh, and as well the FTB launcher, 
If you only have the ability to go up to about three gigabytes or so, it might be because you're using a 32-bit version of Java and you need to download and install a 64-bit version, assuming your operating system and your hardware supports it, which in the year 2022, I figure it should probably, but you're going to have to do the research on that yourself. Until next time, thank you folks for watching. Hope this helped. God bless each and every one of you. And I'll see you later. Bye.